Hey, good morning, students. So um, I thought it would be helpful, since there were so many students that um, submitted draft elevator pitches, I thought I'd review them um, uh, so that everybody else could see uh, the sort of feedback that they can expect when they submit their final elevator pitch. So well done to those of you that, uh, that submitted them. So in some cases, I'm not going to listen to the whole pitch, and I'm just going to kind of measure how much time it's taken to do certain things. So let's take a look. Dominique, or Dejunique. If I pronounce that wrong, I'm sorry. Um, let's take a look at... Hi, my name is Dejunique, and today I come with you with an opportunity to invest in my company called Choices Boutique. We are a California-based business that specializes in providing excellent customer service to a demographic of individuals between the ages of 15 to 30 years of age. Our vision is to provide quality customer service to all individuals who decide to shop at Joyce's Boutique, and our mission is to ensure customers are receiving day-to-day -day affordable pricing in addition to excellent customer service. What I realized or learned from my... See, here's, here's, here's a perfect example. She did a great job. I, I normally like to see the introduction be 15 to 20 seconds. But she threw some market research in there, right? So this is my target market. She got that in there. But 35 seconds for an intro, not bad. Try to get it to 20 seconds. But she did a really good job. My market research um, information is that about 75% of women were interested in shopping at a boutique, as well as 50% of men were still interested in shopping at a boutique as well. I also found out that about 25% said spontaneously or shopping in an instant when it comes down to making a buying decision and about 45% said they wait to compare to other brands to get more affordable bargains when coming to a buying decision. Um, I'm asking for about $7,000 for startup costs. Um, that would go towards computers, equipment, legal fees, or anything like that, inventory, as well as my marketing. We're located in San Leandro in the Manor District um, where there's great customer traffic as well as parking. Also, um, public transportation is accessible. So, with all that said, I hope that you're able to see the great benefits with investing with the Joyce's Boutique. And I hope you like. Thanks. Okay, so great job, Joyce. Here's what's missing is the budget. And so if we look at what I am looking for specifically, okay? So what we want to see in here is a company introduction. Let's make this bigger so you could see it on the screen. I'm looking for a company introduction, right? She did a great job of that. But what I'm looking for is 15 to 20 seconds because you, you really have two minutes. And she did a good job of getting under that. Then market research. She did a great job at that. And this I'm looking for 45 seconds, right? Then I need some budget. And specifically, here's what I want you to do is to see I've got a budget here that we can pull up. And I'm, I'm sorry if I'm pulling you on the spot. But here's there's a couple things that's in your budget that um, that I want you to talk about specifically. Uh, okay, come on, let's go here. Come on, open up. Why is my my computer's running really slow today? Eh, well, it's not gonna work. So on the budget, what I want you to do is tell me, you know, price per unit. So first of all, tell me what you're gonna sell. Joyce did a great job of that. She said, hey. I sell, you know, it's going to be women's clothes and blah, blah, blah. So, you know, but what you could say was, you know, we sell uh, shirts, pants, accessories, and, uh, you know, we, we expect that every uh, shirt, you know, blouses that we sell are going to sell for 45 bucks and blah, blah, blah. And, um, you know, we expect first year revenue is always great. You know, we expect first year revenue of about, uh, you know, $145,000 and that on that revenue, we, we expect to make X profit or loss. Okay. Uh, third. And then finally, the thing that I want you, I'm looking for an ask 
So she did good. She said, I need $7,000, but I need you to ask. I don't know why Excel's freaking out. Hold on, let me clean this up. Okay, good. Um, and then I need an ask. And so literally, if you say, I need $7,000, what, what you want to do is say, I want you to give me $7,000. Loan me $7,000. Invest $7,000. But regardless, you definitely want an ask. So um, this, was, this was really good. Let me go back to this so I can... I can give you the extra credit points. So let me go to the next one. So well done. That was uh, that was a really good example. So let's go here. Let's take a look at the next one. June's consignment. I love consignment stores. I actually ran a company called, started and ran a company called e-consignment several years ago. It was so much fun. All right, let's hear uh, from June. June's consignment started in the 2014 time. And this presentation outline is a summary of business or clientele in the industry. The results of surveymaker.com out of 25 surveyed and listing women were So let's back up a little bit. Started in the 2014 time. And this presentation outline is a summary of business or clientele in the industry. So here's, where, where's the intro? So what we always want to do is we never want to assume that the person's going to know everything about the business. So because it says consignment, yeah, I got it, right? You know, it's gonna be a consignment store. But I always wanna say, hey, June's is a consignment store. We do uh, women's clothing, etc." cetera. In our 17 and eight men sought to buy our products again, to gain an edge on the fortunes of the choices. Some other information, women plan the successful and to like the Good. MJ to buy now and then. Final evaluation, the marketing survey. Great revenue, look at that. Year one was only 10964 So here's what we want to do. So I love year one revenue. Don't worry about cost of goods. I, I don't need cost of goods. So just tell me year one, year two, year three revenue, and then give me your profit. And then the other thing you could do here is um, uh, is, is tell me how much you expect the average thing that you sell to sell for. Uh, or 625. And uh, year three, we dropped a little bit and did already as a smaller business. The company profile to say that we are doing good already as a smaller business, earn trust in the community riches. The expenses will clarify a decent return in sales revenue for this store and to challenge next year's advantage on leading the online and consignment shop revenue on consignment trade. Okay, so there's no ask. So it's okay. That's why we that's why we do this, right? So um, we need an ask. Um, so what you need to do, Sherry, is well done. Um, you kept it under three minutes, which is good. I prefer it being under two minutes, but I need an ask. Uh, I need you to literally say, you know, uh, if you don't need money, then ask for something else. You know, ask for referrals to, um, uh, uh, you know, to. Uh, uh, to other businesses or ask for an introduction to a good lawyer, but you got to have some sort of an ask. Hi, I'm at Credit Solutions, a credit solutions company. Our company repairs the credit of individuals with bad credit to help them repair their credit score. Our company works directly with the individuals with the credit problem or the company we establishing a group of individuals' credit scores. There is always a solution to having a better credit lifestyle. 
seen on TV commercials. Okay, 51 seconds. Too long. So here's, here's what you want to do. A good practice would be if you put a company's description up there, don't just read the whole description. And because I can read, what you want to do is 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 just take ten seconds and describe the business to me, right? You don't have to read the whole thing, but just kind of give me. I love having the mission statement up there, right? But what you want to do is just read. Don't read it to me because I can read. It's just a good practice not to do that. Let's see if we can get it right to her market research here. With our services, we provide efficiency, respect, and privacy. Monkey and 80% of the responders stated they would pay an online company for credit reviews of San Francisco, California. 20 of the individuals stated they would like to service an online credit solutions company for the convenience the company will. Here is our Palmer Jama Inc. income statement. Inclusion, the environment agrees. The data reveal we need more online credit solutions. Conclusion, the environment agrees. The data reveal we need more online credit solutions. The company is ready. The impact is there. Our job and credit solutions can be great for the industry. Perfect. Only thing missing is an ask. Ask me for help. Uh, hey, look, I need a lawyer. Uh, I need $10,000. I need something. Everybody needs something, right? So well done, uh, Selena. That's beautiful. Uh, I just need an ask. So give me an ask of some sort. All right, Kevin, I love it. Three swings at the bat here, buddy. Okay, second link. Let's take a look. I'd like to start off by saying thank you for your time and consideration. Here at Cravings, we are proud to be serving the Bay Area with some of the most mouth-watering, money-worthy dishes you can ask for. With our wide range of skilled chefs, you'll be coming back in seconds or four seconds. So come in and satisfy your cravings today. Our vision is to set Good. Good introduction. 20 seconds. Perfect. Satisfy the Bay Area's food cravings. And our mission is to offer a wide variety of foods for people to indulge in happily. In 2016, approximately 1.65 million people lived here in Alameda County. And of those people, just a little over 66% were between 18 and 64 years old. That's a lot of mouths to feed. Startup costs for my restaurant would be roughly $273,100. With all the costs and wages that need to be spent, we would be able to start making a profit just after six months. Now, the question still stands. Are you ready to help me satisfy the Bay Area's food cravings? Or are you just gonna sit there and wish you were a part of this journey? Thank you. Okay, so Bye. so here's here's what the the market research on this was weak. So you're gonna you're gonna have food in Alameda County. I get it. All right, but what I need from you, Kevin, is I need more specifics on the type of food that you're gonna sell, and why it is that it's gonna be unique, right? And so are you going to have Ethiopian food, Colombian food? You're going to have food from Guatemala. Dude, I need to know what kind of food you're going to have. And what I need is market research to prove that that, is, uh, uh, that type of food is in demand in Alameda County. I love that there's 1.65 million people. That's awesome. And yep, they're all going to at least eat three squares a day. I'm with you, bro. So over 5 million meals in Alameda County a day. I get it. But why are they going to eat yours? So I need to know what kind of food you're going to serve. Get that into your description. And then give me some market research to prove that what you are uh, planning on delivering is, is actually going to be something that people want. Uh, but otherwise, it was good. And then at the end, ask for something. Don't just say, you know you want to help me. You know you want to help me. Say, help me by giving me 25 grand or helping me find a great location or doing something so that you know they can help you actually get this puppy opened. Uh, let's take a look at one more. This way you guys have got ample feedback, right? Let's take a look. Millions of people play sports, but yet there is not an efficient means of finding a best team for them. Make ATC strive to connect athletes and coaches across all levels of sport participation. 
Athletes will be able to connect with coaches, other teams, and players to discover the best playing environment for them. Coaches will be able to find the best players that fit their needs. Link ATC is an online social networking service where athletes can post their best videos, stats, highlights, while coaches can promote their brand, group, or organization. We are projected to make about $20,000 for the first year, $54,000 the second year, and $97,000 the third year. The huge component of revenue is not incorporated, but would be through advertising, in which we hope to have a substantial amount for our overall profit. Ideally, this would be an app where people could see the videos, post it, share it, while people can join teams and connect the world around them. We expect to have a strong foothold in the market of sports, competitiveness, recreational sports, as well as selling products and services such as trainers, personal trainers, fitness aspects, and even uh, items. Okay, so obviously what was missing is what? Market research. It's great, but tell me, you know, how, tell me how many people there are that are going to potentially be able to take advantage of this. And then secondarily, I want you to tell me that you've actually talked to some of them. Now, I know you already did market research, but get some of that market research data into this. I love that it was under a minute. I really do. But, or, or right at a minute. But, bro, you got to give me some market research. And then at the end, I need an ask. Uh, 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 an elevator pitch without an ask is a commercial. So we're, we're, who likes commercials? I don't like commercials. During Super Bowl, they can be fun. But for the most part, I'm not a big commercial guy. Now let's watch one more, and then I will let you guys go, and I can get this thing posted. Let's hear from Ms. Jenna. Hi, my name is Jenna, and I'm a student at Chabot and Las Casitas Community College, and my business idea is a cat cafe. Cat cafes are a new way of bringing the love of cats to the community in two ways. The first way is with adoption to those who are ready for the commitment, and the second way is companionship for those who are not able to adopt for a variety of reasons. The problem I'm trying to solve is not all cat lovers can own a cat. We give them the option to still have the companionship their heart desires without letting those circumstances get in the way. Some circumstances are housing issues, lifestyle issues, financial concerns, and family issues. The solution is a cat cafe. A cat cafe is a place where you can come on your lunch break or for dinner to get a snack and a coffee and also go and play with cats. Our target customers are the millennials, anyone between the ages of 18 to 35 years old and also high school students. Our main target audience will be cat people and also people who suffer from anxiety and depression. One great aspect to a cat cafe is that it can improve your health. Cats purrs naturally calm your nerves. Cats also can make you laugh harder than you ever thought possible and they also support you in your battle with depression. We make money in three ways. The first way is with adoption, second with companionship, and third is with cafe drinks and food. With adoptions, people are able to come in, socialize with many different cats, and decide which one they would like to join their family. The second is companionship. Since not everybody can own a cat, this is a place where people can come, pay a flat rate, and enjoy their time with the cat. You can read with a cat on your lap, you can play with them, you can cuddle, you can do whatever you would like as if you were at home. The third is cafe drinks and food. We'll have a variety of little snacks and drinks that people can choose from. Thank you. Okay, very good. However, obviously there's some stuff that needs to be bolstered, right? So you, you were following the format from the, uh, the elevator pitch competition, which is fine. However, we've got to modify some stuff a little bit, right? So, um, so for example, I need market research in here to prove that this is a viable idea. One of the things you could do here under the problem is say, my research indicates that there are several reasons why people are unable to adopt cats. They are, okay? That would, that would sort of meet the, sort of the spirit of what we're looking for. Um, this is good, I love that research. Uh, so the three reasons I love this how we make money except that when you're talking like I need to know how much so we expect year one to generate revenue of $80 in adopting cats 
Uh, companionship. People are going to be paying $12 an hour to come sit, watch TV, have a cat, play with a cat, do whatever, right? Tell me how you make money here. Same thing with the cookies. Love these little cookies. But what I need you to finish with is when you get to the these three sections here, you got to tell me. And I expect uh, to make a profit or a loss in year one. Then I need an ask from you, right? Tell me, in order to open this, I need... I need either money or I need help finding a location or I need something. So there's got to be an ask, okay? So everybody, uh, these are all really good. I think there's several more, but I didn't want to keep you up on this video for too long. Super important, company intro, get it to 10 to 15 seconds. Be concise. Give me 45 seconds on that market research, right? Give me another 45 seconds on a budget. And what I want you to do is hit the big stuff, right? You know, we expect to sell uh, our shirts for 25 bucks. They're gonna. The good news is they cost me eight dollars. Uh, I expect to be able to generate first year revenue of about 150 thousand. Uh, and actually, because I buy the, the shirts so cheap, I may expect to make a profit. And then the ask. Get down here and give me 15 seconds. Ask for something. Uh, I really don't care what you ask for. You know, even if you say uh, thank you for watching my video. The way you can help me now is to bring me a cup of coffee. Please bring me a cup of coffee. I don't care what you ask for, right? Uh, the key is that you got to ask for something. So I hope this was helpful. Uh, well done to everybody that uh, submitted this for extra credit. Uh, I appreciate it. I hope you found it helpful. Make these changes. I'm looking forward to seeing these finals uh, shortly. I'll have another video early next week talking about the next two weeks. we got two more weeks of class left. And uh, I want to make sure everybody's squared away. Have a good weekend, everybody.